In this video, we delve into the concept of a potential new Pokémon type, the Light type. Pokémon associated with the Light type possess the ability to either produce light or are bioluminescent in nature. These Light type Pokémon harness light energy to attack their opponents. The Light type is weak against steel and bug. Metals, like steel, are known to absorb light due to the presence of electrons, causing some of the light to be absorbed when a light Pokémon is struck by a steel attack, making light weak against steel. Light is also weak against bug, because many bugs naturally seek out sources of light, and a large group of bugs can swarm the light source, overwhelming the light Pokémon. The light type is resistant against dark, ghost, dragon, and fighting types. Light resists dark because even in darkness, strong light still shines brightly. Additionally, dark types, associated with evil and underhandedness, are depicted as ineffective against the goodness commonly associated with light. Light resists ghost because the shadowy and ethereal nature of ghosts and their attacks are rendered ineffective in the presence of light. Light resists dragon because in fairy tales, light is associated with heroism which dragons might find difficult to overcome. Light resists fighting because fighters typically rely on their sense of sight to attack, which is hindered by bright light. Offensively, light moves are super effective against dark, ghost, psychic, and fighting types. Light is super effective against dark because light removes darkness. Furthermore, it is often said that the forces of good or light often prevails over evil or darkness. Light is super effective against ghost because the brightness destabilizes the ethereal nature of ghosts, and they are depicted to be more active at night or in the dark. Light is super effective against psychic because the brightness overloads the psychic senses and disrupts their concentration. Light is super effective against fighting because the brightness disrupts their sense of sight, stunning them momentarily. Light moves are ineffective against ice, steel, rock, and ground. Additionally, light moves have no effect on grass types because plants absorb light to photosynthesize, rendering grass types immune to light. Light is ineffective against ice and steel because these surfaces are highly reflective, causing much of the light energy to be reflected. Similarly, light is also ineffective against rock and ground because they are highly dense and opaque substances that do not allow light to pass through. We will now explore existing Pokémon that could adopt the new light typing. First up is Chandelure, which could be redesignated as a fire and light type. Despite its supernatural abilities to burn the spirits of its enemies, Chandelure is based on a chandelier light, making the light type a fitting addition. The fire and light type combination is powerful, with fire originally having three weaknesses and six resistances. With the addition of the light type, this type combination gains two new resistances without acquiring any new weaknesses. Next up, we have Staryu, Starmie, Chinchou, Lantern, Finion, and Luminion which could be redesignated as water and light types. The Staryu and Chinchou evolutionary lines can have the Illuminate ability, further supporting their secondary light typing. Pokédex entries of Finion and Luminion state that the patterns on their bodies can glow and shine after absorbing sunlight. The water and light type is another powerful combination. Water originally has two weaknesses and four resistances. With the additional light typing, this type combination acquires an additional bug weakness, but gains three new resistances. Next up for the grass and light typing, we have Morilol and Shinotic. Like some of the above water type Pokemon, Morilol and Shinotic can both have the Illuminate ability, and they are also bioluminescent. According to the Pokédex entries, these Pokemon use their lights to confuse, daze, and cause drowsiness to gain the upper hand in battle. The grass and light type combination is a mixed bag. While it does gain four new resistances from the light type, it also gains a new weakness to steal, and its bug weakness becomes a double weakness. Next, we consider the electric and light typing, exemplified by Pokémon like Ampharos. Its Pokédex entry states that its tail shines brightly, using it as a signal to guide people. The electric light typing gives it one additional bug weakness, although that is balanced out by the resistances given by the light type. Next, we have Ho-Oh, which should be redesignated as a light and flying type. Even though Ho-Oh can use fire type moves like Sacred Fire, it is depicted by multiple Pokédex entries to be radiating a rainbow-colored glow whenever it flies. 
The light and flying type combination acquires an additional weakness to steel but is balanced by two additional resistances and a double resistance against the fighting type compared to the pure flying type. Next, we have Carbink, Diancy, and Mega Diancy, which should be designated the rock and light typing. These Pokémon are made up of compressed rock and jewels, which glimmer brightly. Unfortunately, this combination gains a four times weakness to steel. However, the resistances of rock and light stack up nicely, with an astounding total of eight resistances. Next, for the ice and light typing, we have Cryogonal, which composes of shiny blue snowflakes which glow beautifully. Pure ice types had always struggled defensively, with four weaknesses, and being resistant only towards the ice type. The ice light typing improves the number of resistances to five, but its vulnerability to steel, being 4x weak, remains a significant drawback. Next, for the fairy and light type combination, we have the legendary Pokemon Xerneas. Its horn is capable of glowing in seven colors, and in battle, it employs geomancy, causing rainbow-colored lights to erupt from the ground to raise Xerneas's stats. However, the fairy light typing may weaken it compared to a pure fairy type. While it gains double resistances against fighting and dark types, its 4x weakness against steel makes it vulnerable to being knocked out easily. Next, we have Solgaleo, which should be designated as light and steel typing, as its psychic typing doesn't align well with its lore. Multiple Pokédex entries describe its body as radiating intense light, capable of dispelling darkness. Steel, known for its exceptional defensive capabilities, is further enhanced by the light typing, reducing its weaknesses by one and increasing its resistances by one. This powerful dual typing allows it to resist a total of 11 types. Next, we have Glimmit and Glimora, which should be redesigned as a poison and light type, as its rock typing doesn't suit them well. Their crystalline nature and glowing abilities in dark caves suggest a connection to light rather than rock. They can use their crystallized body to launch energy or light beams as attacks. Defensively, this dual typing is decent, with three weaknesses and seven resistances, including a double resistance to fighting. Next, we have Lunala, which should be designated as a light and ghost type, as its psychic typing doesn't align well with its lore. According to the Pokedex, Lunala absorbs surrounding light and glitters like a crescent moon. The Light and Ghost dual typing has two weaknesses, two resistances, and two immunities, which is nothing too spectacular. Next up we have Volbeat and Illumise, which should be bug and light types instead, as they are fireflies that produce light due to certain chemical reactions in their bodies. Defensively, the bug and light typing is not as advantageous as the pure bug type, as the weaknesses of bug and light types are combined, bringing the total weaknesses to five. However, this dual type does offer three additional resistances. Necrozma's psychic type has never really made sense, so in my opinion, it should be a dark and light type. The dark type fits its black appearance and its vicious temperament, while the light type aligns with its description of devouring light as a source of energy and violently firing off laser beams. The dark and light typing is an interesting combination thematically, as these two types are complete opposites of each other. Defensively, it isn't very strong, as it has four weaknesses, including a double bug weakness. However, it does have three resistances, with two being double resistances and one immunity. When Necrozma takes on the Ultra Necrozma form, it should be more accurately designated as a Light and Dragon type, rather than Psychic and Dragon. After absorbing an overwhelming amount of light, its body emits a shiny glow. The Light and Dragon dual typing provides a slight upgrade compared to pure Dragon types, with one additional weakness, but also gaining three new resistances from the Light type. Next, we have Blood Moon Ursaluna, which should be designated as Ground and Light Typing due to its moon-related powers. Its signature move, Blood Moon, fires a crimson red light beam. This dual typing has five weaknesses, seven resistances, and one immunity. With Ground being one of the best offensive types, this is a powerful combination. Next, we have three more psychic Pokémon whose types don't quite match their themes. Cresselia, Elgem, and Behiem they should all be designated as Psychic and Light types. Cresselia is associated with lunar powers and emits a shiny glow. LGM and Behiem, based on aliens and UFOs, are often depicted with mysterious lights appearing from the sky. 
Defensively, this combination is weak with only three resistances. Even though it has only three weaknesses, one of them is a crippling double weakness to bug. And finally, we have the normal and light type, designated to Terrapagos in its normal and terrastal forms. According to the lore, Terrapagos is responsible for the terrastal phenomenon in the Paldea region. Since the terrastal effect involves crystals and light, the light typing fits Terrapagos. This dual type combination offers two weaknesses, two resistances, and one immunity. And there we have it, the Pokemon that could possibly adopt the light typing. Do you agree with my choices? Let me know what you think in the comments section, and see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video.